Welcome to the Grade 5 Science class. Today, we are going to discuss about the changes that the materials undergo through the application of heat. Did you know that the sun is the primary source of heat? Heat is very important in our daily life, like warming our house, drying our clothes, and cooking our food. The degree of heat or the amount of energy present in matter is measured by, of course, temperature through the device or instrument called thermometer. Heat is a form of energy that can bring physical and chemical changes in matter. The physical changes made by heat is reversible. This is the state of matter wherein the composition can be returned to its original state. While the chemical changes caused by heat is irreversible, wherein the state of matter cannot be returned or restored to its original composition. Heat can change matter. Applying or removing heat, matter can change from one phase to another phase. Take a look at the picture. Here, the solid state, once we add a heat in a solid ice, it turns into liquid. This is what we call the melting point. So in liquid state, if we apply heat, the liquid, once reached the boiling point or the 100 degrees Celsius, the water or the liquid turns into gas. This is what we call evaporation. So liquid state to gas state. Okay, for the definition, melting. This is the process of changing solid to liquid when heat is applied. Evaporation. This is the process of changing from liquid to gas when heat is applied. And if the liquid reaches the boiling point or the 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, we discuss about the heat transfer. Take a look at the picture. There are three words in the picture. This is the conduction, the convection, and the radiant or the radiation. The heat from the burner transfer to the solid material. This is what we call conduction. Okay, and then the next. The heat from the burner transfer to the convection, which is the liquid inside the conduction. And the last one, this is the radiation. The heat from the burner goes out to the air or to the surroundings. Okay, there are three types of heat transfer. They are conduction. This is the transfer of heat from one molecule to another in solid materials. The second is the convection. This is the transfer of heat through a liquid or a gas as warm fluid arises. And then, the last one is the radiation. This is the movement of heat by electromagnetic rays or waves. So, there are three types of heat transfer, the conduction, the convection, and the radiation. Mm -hmm. 